So I don't care what anyone says, it's a beautiful Monday, the beginning of the week, and it has to do with the fact that we got to finally see our first look at the Studio Series 86 Rekar, the Voyager class figure. Now, we were talking about this for quite a few weeks on the podcast. JT Prime 17 was showing us all kinds of listings from Walmart and Target of a future Studio Series 86 Rekar, and even that of going even more forward where the repaint remold is going to be that of a other junkie on of junk heap. So we knew he was coming and he was going to be in that price point. And now we finally get our first look of him pretty much. And we only got the robot mode here, but this is fantastic news. And I am flabbergasted at just how well this turned out and before I get into that I mean I just want to like kind of like pull up the history of like wreck our toys because it's like it's one of these things where like we had like that very first wreck our toy all those years ago but it really didn't do the justice of the Fleuro Deary animation model with modern wreck our toys like in 2010 and 2011 when we first got our very first modern wreck our toy it used something that was more of a Japanese inspired speed bike if anything so it was a lot more skinny and while it did invoke a lot of the key things that we associated with wreck are you know the extra wheel being used as a shield on the arm having the axe that has kind of a, a cross kind of shape to it or a, a star kind of shape to it so those kind of little things were present along with obviously the facial hair and and the head looking like the front of a motorcycle all those key points were there but still a much skinnier character and probably engineered in that way on purpose so that I could then lead afterwards if they wanted to do other kinds of repaints or stuff like that look what they did afterwards when it comes to like them using it for the I guess it was like the tarantulas mold for the uh, the timelines line and everything and then of course like you could call it even uh, you know a, a form of um, of sideways in a lot of ways but it looked good it looked good, but it didn't look great, and and I still to this day feel that of that mold, the best version of it, if you wanted Rekar, was the United Repaint. The United Repaint like went out of its way to really have that color scheme that matched that of the animation model from the 86 movie. But then afterwards, that re that mold just got repainted to death. It was used across the board. And then we got like Rekar figures here and there just to keep the trademark alive, whether it be a Legends class from Combiner Wars or that, uh, I think it was a Walgreens exclusive that was available for Power of the Primes just to make Rekar a Combiner piece, if anything, if you wanted that. But that was using the Groove mold, so it wasn't really Rekar in, in its, like, I guess in its essence. And he got a tiny Titan, you know, so if you wanted a little, like, almost, you know, Robot Heroes-esque kind of figure to join your collection... You know, stuff that just kept the trademark going and going, but nothing that ever truly invoked that of the ori original animation model that Fleuro Deary did all those years ago for the 86 movie. And 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 the, the sad, silly thing about it, when you really think about it, is that, like, what really was absent was his little robo nipple cannons. You know, that, that giant red chest, that boxiness, the robo nipple cannons, if anything, the spikes on the wheels. Like, those little things that were really junkion inspired aesthetics that were found just across the entire race of junkions were absent with those modern interpretations of the design and now when we go back and look at this studio series 86 figure i mean i'm i'll say it right now this looks like as if if this was a masterpiece like no joke if there was a masterpiece scale uh rec -R, i can't imagine how better it could be than what i'm seeing right now uh, every single fine detail from the animation model to that of this figure is present. The, again, the spikes on the wheels, even the spikes on the wheels on that of the hubcap itself. Uh, the fact that you have the cross, uh, the cross weapon, and it has the red detail on it. The fact that the the robo, you know, cannon nipples are painted silver and kept in true with that too. Even the little side, the side packs on his hips and everything. The little details on his shins. Every fine detail is present. The only thing that's probably missing, and it's probably just due to the limitations of that of a Voyager price point, and it'll probably be present in a future masterpiece when we get a Rekar in like five, ten years from now, 
it for his chest to open up and have a little TV in it so he could show that he talks TV and it might have little different stickers on it or something. But I mean, this thing looks perfect. It really does. I, I'm I'm so surprised how well this turned out that I almost feel like there's got to be something wrong with that alt mode. Maybe the alt mode is flawed. Maybe it doesn't look as nice, the alt mode. But then again, Fleur Odiri was really good at transitioning those two designs and seeing the connections there that could be done. So I wouldn't be surprised if they could somehow figure it out with the good engineers that they have at Takara and Hasbro. So at the end of the day, this this looks really good. This looks really really good and for a voyager price point where it just has the right amount of budget to pull this off i mean i'm very happy with what i see here and getting back to what i was saying where it's like we know that we are going to have a junkie on generic repaint remold in the future in that of junk heap um maybe they'll give us more or less the same thing with sm slight little retools but maybe a new weapon accessory you know who knows we'll see something like that because yeah i think there was like a grappling hook thing that one of them used so maybe they could do something different and i think it'll look spectacular and then when we look even beyond that when it comes to repaints i mean we have that new shattered glass line that if that shattered glass collection kind of really gets some legs well we had a shattered glass junkie on in history where you could just take that junkie on mold and give them those like purplies and blue color scheme and do that kind of had like an insecticon kind of thing going on in a lot of ways but i mean there's there's so much potential with this mold that could also exist moving forward and not to mention the pair off which is hopefully one day hopefully one day we will get a proper we're kind of we, we might see it in the in the uh premium uh what's it called there the premium finish line that we discussed a couple of days ago um especially on the stream now that we know that we're going to be probably getting a springer but if we could get some kind of studio series 86 springer at some point it'd be a nice little send-off to have the two of them against each other because of anyone who watched the original 1986 commercials of Rekar versus springer they kind of have like an unofficial rivalry between the two so you get a nice voyager class springer put them up against Rekar, have those cardboard backgrounds that the studio series 80 stuck the 86 stuff has and uh, i think it'll all just turn out really nice i'm very hyped about this i think this looks fantastic i love the 86 movie and this is just going to be more of that awesomeness that we expect from the Studio Eight, Studio Series 86 line. Let me know what you think about this, how hyped you are. I can't wait until we see the alt mode images. And um, yeah, hopefully everything turns out great and it looks fantastic. And uh, that's, not, that's not much really else I could say. Let me know what you think. Who do you think should be next? I constantly say this. Who do you think should be next for Studio Series 86? I'm, I'm, I'm voting Blaster. But that's always my go-to. He was my one of my first Transformers, so he always has a special place. But who do you think?